Bronzy hates the fact that League of Legends is such a coin flip game. He goes on a 5 game winning streak followed immediately by a 5 game losing streak, ending up right exactly where he started. Diamond. Diamond knows the secret behind winners and losers queue and uses it to his advantage by soaring through the ranks. Come little Bronzy, <laughs> let me teach you the way. I never used to understand why the fuck this phenomenon even existed in the first place. It's existed all throughout of League's history but I feel like it's gotten even more prominent as the seasons have gone by. From seasons 5 to like 10, I remember being subjected to winners and losers queue before people even called it that, but not to this extremity. It was a quick 2-3 to three game losing streak, enough to piss you off but not enough to make you rethink your life decisions, and you'd get the LP back sooner or later. From season 11 onwards, the discrepancy has gotten much worse, with massive losing streaks followed by equally massive winning streaks. I swear to god, this shit is like a toxic relationship where two people oscillate from super lobby dubby to absolutely just breaking shit and fighting all the time. I've been on my master's climb for about a month now and it's been happening to me like every other day. At first I thought it was just the infamous D4 Gulag, but it's still been happening even as I've broken into mid D3. The problem with this dynamic is about 60-80% to 80 of your games feel completely out of your control, and this is a dynamic that most gamers are very uncomfortable with. Like imagine you're playing a standard single player RPG and 75% of the time, most of your inputs are basically meaningless. What kind of fucker would buy that game and spend hours upon hours wasting their time on it? Seems completely counterintuitive right? Cause that's exactly what we're doing with League. When I put it like that, it seems crazy that we're still playing this coin flip ass game doesn't it? That brings about two questions we're going to answer in this video. Number one, why are we still playing this game? The biggest reason why might be because it's a remnant of our childhood. League, much like most of its players, is not as young as it used to be. Most League players have been playing the game for quite a while now, and we've built up sort of a fucked up connection with the game. Maybe it's just good old sunken cause fallacy, but it'd feel like shit to completely abandon a game that you've devoted so much time and energy into. While quitting for some addicted folks might be the best way forward, I don't think they want to come to terms with the fact that so much of their time has been essentially wasted for absolutely nothing. So instead, they continue to spend even more time trying so desperately to validate their time spent by achieving a specific rank or a specific standing within their friend group. Another reason why it's so hard to quit the game is because of how good it feels when you're ahead. League is inherently a very snowball game and while Riot has taken some steps to reduce snowball and make it easier for the losing team to catch up, it's still worth reiterating that being ahead makes you feel like an absolute god. It's so fun and exhilarating to completely be ahead of your opponents, countering and shutting down every single one of their moves, knowing full well just how pissed off they are because because you've also been in the same exact losing position. Because of how humans work, we're constantly chasing the high of a particular experience. Every time we queue into league, we're constantly chasing the high of how we turbo stomped our opposition or came back from a 4v5 to clutch it out in the end. This is where league can get dangerous because it can start to become sort of like a drug where you're constantly chasing the high and getting frustrated and tilted that you're not getting your fix. So, how do we alleviate this? If the coin flip is so dangerous and pointless, then how do people even get high elo in the first place? They get it by weathering the storm. The lesson that I keep learning throughout my league journey is that there will always be very easy wins and extremely stompy losses. It seems to have gotten even more prominent over the years as well. The unfortunate secret to climbing through the coin flip is to queue up to every single game, trying your best and hope that you get a game that's evenly matched. I wish this wasn't the case guys, trust me, and that I could tell you some super advanced LP hack to kill the coin flip for good, but sadly this is the mindset that I have on my master's climb and it's been working for me thus far. I've been following my own advice of playing 1-3 to three games a day, going in with max intensity and focus but knowing full well that I might just spend 5 minutes in queue, 5 minutes in champ select and get absolutely fucking stomped in 20 minutes. This is simply the sad truth of climbing in League of Legends. You have to simply learn to get past the one sided games whether it's a win or a loss and just hope that every game you queue up into is going to be a close one even though you know it's not the case. Learn to play for the close games and not care about the one sided ones. If this truth makes you hate the game and makes you want to quit, I completely get it. I can advise someone in good conscience to play the game knowing full well that about 60% of your time spent is not in your immediate control. If you have more of a single player mindset, then a game like League which constantly reminds you of your own inconsequentiality is a pain in the ass. Like I said in my previous videos, League isn't going to provide you with the same escapism that you're used to from other games. If anything, League is just another fucking microcosm of life where you have to try and fight against the odds to make something out of yourself. That's the fun thing about League, the fact that you can learn how to learn. It's an invaluable experience that you can easily translate to other areas of your life as most areas in life aren't going to be as stupidly difficult as climbing in league. Developing a strong mindset and the willingness to sit in the burning heat of your problems to find a solution is an incredibly useful skill to have and one that I use daily in my day job in corporate New York City. Remember guys, the greatest gift League of Legends will give you isn't the rank or the validation, it's the ability to face impossibly unfair scenarios and find 
find a way to turn them into your favorite. If you guys want more therapy, not only for League, but for life in general, hit me up on Discord and join the Beehive. Click here and watch my LP hack video. I discuss some tips to better navigate the coin flip and give yourself the best chance of success in your games. Other than that, guys, keep a strong mental and remember, anyone can get diamond.